Kendra Jackson is the owner of Kay's Precious Care Learning Center on Cedar Street in Lansing. Kay, you've got open enrollment going on right now. Talk about the age range for your open enrollment at Kay's Precious Care. Yes, we do have open enrollment. We have ages of newborn all the way to school age since school is out right now. And talk about, you've got some openings now. If people are looking for work and they're looking perhaps to get into a new line of work, what shift are you hiring for right now at Kay's Precious Care? I'm hiring for our evening shift, which starts about 3.30 in the afternoon until 11 p.m. for those workers that are looking for care during those hours. And what are the requirements for hiring? They have to have CPR and first aid training. They also have to pass the background screening and a couple of hours in early child development, but I do most of the training. Is it difficult to find additional um, help? And, and if so, why? It is difficult to find because a lot of people are scared to come out of their homes and work in a community such as childcare. But since we keep it very safe and we keep masks on, uh, that's the reason for them to come and work. Talk a little bit about the, the services that you provide at Kay's Precious Care. I know that you have a background in education, in childhood education, and you've been doing this for a long time. What are the kids getting when they, they come to the Kay's Precious Care environment? Yes, we have a very structured schedule for our children where they get to learn math and cognitive and reading and singing and literacy. We are affiliated with Early Head Start, so we make sure that we keep them very busy throughout the day. You also teach them some food preparation skills too, from what I understand, right? Absolutely. We do have a garden that we do grow home food, such as vegetables and a few herbs. Yeah. But since it's cold right now, we can't do that. Yeah, but what a great thing for the kids to be involved in that experience of planting something in a garden, watching it grow, and then actually eating those vegetables that they help to grow and really teaching them some healthy habits. What are some other important messages you want to share to people who might be thinking about, you know, I'm, I'm ready to ba enter back into the workforce and I'm going to need a place for my kids, or maybe you're looking for a new place to work what is what is it about case precious care that that you think is really important to share with other people well first of all we really practice wearing our masks we do a lot of social distancing we clean we do our temperatures and at the end of the month we also have the air cleaned to, to make sure that it's extra clean for staff all right kinder jackson is the owner of case precious care on cedar street in lansing find out more at caseprecious care learning center.com thank you kendra Thank you.